Hello, and welcome to Avio's Journey Podcast. My name is Anthony, and this show is all about helping the new and upcoming voiceover artists grow their business and sidestep all of the crazy things that I seem to stomp on. Today, I'm going to be talking about, am I really making money on people per hour? Seriously? And the answer is yes, I'm actually making money on people per hour, and and they're actually paying me. Like, it's been deposited into my bank account multiple times. So I want to talk to you about it. <laughs> All right, let's do it. This is VO's Journey. With your host... The incomparable Anthony Pika. All right, so thank you so much for listening to episode 142. Uh, I, wait, wait, I think it's 142. Or is it 143? You know, what's crazy is, is as you as you go and you start doing all of the uh, the content, you know, it, it, it becomes, you know, hard to keep up sometimes. And I think it's I had to pull it up. It is 142. I was correct. So we are on episode 142. So welcome. And today we're going to be talking about people per hour. And can you get voiceover work on people per hour? And and I am. So there you go. You can. <laughs> and that's the end of the podcast. No, seriously. Um, but we're going to talk about people per hour. And we're also going to talk about the fact that I am getting paid and I have been paid multiple times. The money has been deposited into my bank account. Now, you might be like, Anthony, why? Wh- what do you mean? Of course, it's been deposited in your bank account. Well, I have to tell you that I have tried many different websites for voiceover and I've done work on many different websites. And unfortunately, some of them are very, very bad at actually you know, coming through and paying you and having it, you know, posted or put into your account. So there are some sites that I am still just trying to get the money that I made put into my bank account. So I'm very pleased that people per hour um, has been bringing me work. They've been bringing me work and I've not been auditioning, but they've been bringing it to me. And on top of that, uh, I have um, been getting money and being paid. So this is a... um, It's a UK company, I believe, and you get paid in pounds, okay? And then from that, you know, you just, uh, I use PayPal, of course, so it deposits into my PayPal account, and of course, PayPal converts it to uh, US dollars, and we're off to the races. So I want to kind of dive into people per hour and talk to you about this site a little bit. Uh, If you're not on it, it's a free site to join. Okay, and uh, basically on the site, um, there's a couple different ways that you can actually get work. So the first way is it kind of acts similar to Upwork in the sense that you can bid on projects. You can send proposals and stuff for projects that are available. Okay, but another really cool thing that you can do with people per hour is you can actually post an offer. So just like Fiverr. Right. Uh, Where you have a gig on people per hour, you can also post an an offer so you can have like a gig available on 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 on. on uh, people per hour as well, which is really, really, really cool because it, to me that really um, it, it helps you stand out to people finding that uh, people finding you, and that's how people are finding me. And as you know, if you followed me long enough, I would rather the business come to me than me having to go out and find it. So I really enjoy the fact that on people per hour they allow you to do that, and it's really cool because on the um, post offer section, you know what I mean. You come in and it, it's set up. Um, uh, all in one page. So basically you talk about something like I can, and then you write down, you know, like I can, uh, record a voiceover, like a male voiceover, uh, for your project or whatever. And then they have a place of when you will deliver it. They have a category, you know, like where, you know, what are you in video, uh, photo and audio is one of them, right? Then they have the tags, which they offer five as well, which is very similar to Fiverr. Okay. Then on, there is a place to upload. So you can upload your videos or your photos. You can upload audio. Um, you can embed stuff from other sites, 
I have found that actually it works better for me to embed my a YouTube video onto this site because for whatever reason, at least when I was setting up mine, I was having the most devil of a time getting the um, work uh, like getting my photos and or my videos and stuff uploaded to the site, so it was a lot easier to actually just you know embed a link uh, from you from you know uploading my demo to YouTube. So that was something that you know I did that I figured out. So I recommend using the embed option, and then as you come down to uh, the provide more details about your offer, you dive into that and you get you know you you provide all the details like your description of what your offer is you know is what your offer does, right? Then underneath that, you have another section that's prov uh, provide a description for your offer optimized for search results. So this is the this is the one where I want you to think of like a short little snippet that, you know, it would come up because they're trying to post these or they want to make this friendly for search engines, okay? Uh, and then underneath, which I really like, they have a section for extras. So you can add all kinds of extras to this. So basically what I did is using, using the basis of all the information I've learned from Fiverr, I went ahead and I added all the extras that I usually do on Fiverr. And they also have a, you can deliver, they also have like a fast delivery. Uh, priority delivery is what they call it. And you can add that just like fast delivery on Fiverr. So, you know, it's set up very, very, very similarly. And then you just post the offer. And now you, you know, you have an offer available that people can find you. Okay. And it really, it's, it's found me business. I have done multiple jobs on there. Now, what it does is it allows you to have a page. Okay. And um, you can post a bunch of videos in your portfolio, right? So you can post videos, you can post demos, and then you can also offer, um, you know, like I said, you can also have an offer, all right? And through that, it's really nice because what they do is once you have feedback too, they attach it to your offer. So when somebody buys from you, they can leave that and you also earn points and et cetera, et cetera. So like, you know, it's really nice in the fact that it helps a lot when you are when you are trying to put yourself out there and want to get more business from people finding you. So that was really exciting. Now, one thing I have to uh, tell you about people per hour that's kind of different than what I've done before is all the other sites I'm on, they kind of control like, you know, you pay through the system or, you know, you do direct like if you're on voices dot voices or voice one, two, three, excuse me. But if you're on like, um, uh, sites like Fiverr or something like that. Basically, Fiverr takes the money, you know, into an escrow and then they deposit it themselves through the information you've given to Fiverr. On this site, though, what you have to do is you actually have to send an invoice through the platform. So there's a couple different things. There's and and what happened to me when I first started on this site is I got just kind of all messed up because there is also you can request money for your account, which then puts money into your account but you can't withdraw that money. So you actually have to invoice the customer, okay? Then once you invoice them, you have to request a withdraw, okay? And then you have to you have to go to payment options, et cetera. There's many different options on the site that you can do with money other than just, you know, putting it into your bank account. And when I first started, I screwed that whole thing up. So the person that I, the very first person that I worked with on here, they were, I apologized because like I couldn't get, uh, I, I kept sending them different things and they're like, what is going on, man? And I was like, I have no idea what I'm doing. So I did screw up a bunch, but I finally uh, realized how to do it. And I really like this platform. And I want to tell you what else is really cool about it. So there is a section that you can actually promote your um, your profile. And it's really exciting to me because like, for example, as we know, something that if you're using a, a site like Fiverr, okay, you can actually pay or voice one, two, three or so forth, right? You pay the premium, premium, premium package now and voice one, two, three, since there's two premium packages, or you can um, buy a learn course on Fiverr and these sites will boost your uh, visibility, right? And their rankings. So on people per hour, they also have an ability for you to do that. But the cool thing is, is that they actually do it in a way very similar to um, 
bidding for ads on like Google. So basically what you do is you come to the promote, you, there's a little section that says promote yourself and you basically come to this and a little screen pops up and it says get your profile noticed and you say it says get three times more leads so you can rank top of your chosen rank at the top of your chosen skills pay only when you get featured move the uh move up the cert ladder faster which is their certification process and you have to like you know get orders and stuff and you get points and stuff and you move up the to get certified you know as like a, a different ratings like exam like Fiverr um so it's very similar in the fact that it's like Fiverr when it comes to allowing you to uh, charge your own things, but it doesn't say Fiverr. <laughs> it says people per hour, and it's not in uh, Israel. It's in the UK. So anyways, on this promote section, you select your skill. So maybe your skill is like mine is voiceover, all right? But it also has the different skills that I have listed on my account. So I'll put mail voiceover. Then I can actually select your maximum bid per day. You know what I mean? I could now I could say like I'm going to bid, you know, five dollars a day. And on here it says how much like how long do you want to do that for? OK, and you're going to promote your profile for there's one day, three day or seven days. And then there is a there's a payment method and then you can hit save bid. And it says, please note that in case your bid is successful, you will be charged the full amount. Your credit card will only be used if the bid amount is not available in your um, people per hour user account. See, so you can actually use some of the funds that you earn from working on here to raise you up. And basically the featured things is they pop you up just like ads on an account. So I think what I like about this now, I have to be completely transparent. Because uh, that's who I am. I have not done this yet, but I am really itching to try it. So I'm going to be trying it out to see if it generates anything because I didn't want to use this service until I was certain that I could get business on people per hour. And I have got business on people per hour. And so far, it's been very easy. People message me or people purchase from me. I send them an invoice. We They accept the offer. I do the work. They pay me. It gets deposited into my bank account. It was very easy. Now, people per hour does take a percentage of your work. So they say that from... I believe it's from zero to, let me see here, zero to 350, they take 20%. And then from like 350 to seven, uh, 7,000 or something, they take um, uh, 10% or something like that. And then there's, um, you know, uh, after that, it's less. So, you know, after you, you know, if, if a job is, Etc. You know what I mean? You you could if it's like from zero to three hundred fifty, they're going to take twenty percent, and after that, you know what I mean? It's going to go down. So larger jobs they take less. So again, it's very similar to Fiverr, except Fiverr charges twenty percent no matter how high you go. So that's kind of exciting that that's a little different than that. But I really really like the platform, and I like you know how simple it is again to get work because it has come to me. So I'm very happy about that. However, I have not done as much on this platform or tried to do as much because like I said, you know, I'm going to give a platform a site, you know, like I'm going to give a platform um, a place to uh, uh, an opportunity to get me work. And then once they give me work, I'm going to do all right. You know what I mean? I'm going to get in there. Now, I want to say a couple things that I really do like about this site more so than Fiverr or whatever. And I, I really wish Fiverr would 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 do a better job of this. So there is a section on Fiverr where you can share your link, right, with places. But I don't like the fact that there's not a place that you can really embed a link, right? Because you can't embed a widget. And I don't know why Fiverr refuses to do that. And I'm not sure if they refuse to do that because they don't want people ripping them off or something. I don't know, but they refuse. So basically what I'm talking about that is the ability to embed something means like, you know, you could put it on a website, you know, like you could put it on your website, you know what I mean? Like a nice shot of what you offer with your name and, you know, and, and your picture and stuff. And then, you know, it, it's more than just a link that pops up. But here, you know, you, you know, you can do, you can get a link. Um, they call it a widget, 
right? You can embed that onto your site. There's also another link that you can get to invite other people, all right? Um, and it refer new clients and pay 0% commission on all projects with them, right? So that's something that, you know, you are going to be able to do. So if you get a business and you go through here, you won't pay any commission. Now, Fiverr tried to do this, but what happened with Fiverr was that it became very difficult for them to keep up with who was already coming to the site and who wasn't. So like basically if you had invited somebody to Fiverr, because I don't know if you remember, but Fiverr had done that where you can um, invite someone, like if you have pre previous clients and you start working through Fiverr, Fiverr will still take the 20%, but then they'll refund you that 20% uh, as a thank you basically for you know getting them to sign up to Fiverr and getting all that information. You know what I mean? Like they're basically paying you that extra 20% in order to get you know, people like who actually are purchasing, you know, our services on their site. But this site, People Per Hour, doesn't seem to be saying that you have to do all that. They'll just, you know, um, you, you won't have to pay commissions on all projects with that individual, which I like more because that makes sense. And People Per Hour gets them onto their site knowing that they could possibly buy something else from someone else, right? So it really does uh, offer a win-win. So I really do like People Per Hour. You're going to have to play around with it a little bit. Is not as... Uh, it took me a little bit longer to understand how to get through everything necessarily than I did on Fiverr, but uh, it's pretty good. I might actually even do, maybe I'll do a little course on on this one or a video or something on how to go through it. But I really like it and I think it's a good viable option for you as another site to check out. It's called peopleperhour.com and check it out. Okay. Um, by the way, they're not, <laughs> no one's promote, like this isn't promoted. I just have gotten paid now a couple of times and I'm very excited about it. And I thought I wanted to share it with you. Okay. Um, all right, you guys. Well, thank you so much. I uh, really appreciate you listening. And I hope that you are having a great start to 2020. Uh, by the way, if you could make sure you like, share this with someone who thinks uh, that you think could use it. If you haven't gotten a chance, check out the uh, YouTube channel of VO's Journey YouTube. Please, please follow me. Uh, we're, we're doing amazing. That site, uh, that, that page is growing like crazy. Uh, I mean that channel. Um, and uh, I'm very, very happy and blessed and thankful for all of the interactions and everything that we get. Um, so I, I, I would be really beneficial if you could do that as well. Also, please don't be afraid to leave a review uh, for the podcast. Uh, you can do that on iTunes. I know that you can do that through Spotify, um, Pocket Cast, uh, wherever the million different places that you listen to this puppy at, you please feel free to leave a review. I would be forever thankful. All right, you guys, have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I will talk to you soon, all right? Peace.